Hey everyone, Nikki here, a creative 3D evangelist at Adobe. And today I want to talk to you about these pink error lines that we sometimes see inside of Substance 3D Painter's Bake View. Let's talk about how we can fix these uh, in a couple of different ways. So I'm back in Maya, where I originally modeled this stylized fire hydrant. And you'll notice if I kind of rotate around the object that, yes, I do see a hard edge there where I want the surface to look soft. So this one's pretty easy. All I need to do is come in here, select that edge, and then double click, select the edge. And all I need to do, real easy, come up to Mesh Display and Soften Edge. Fantastic. Go back in New Object Mode. Now, if I rotate around, you'll notice no more hard edge. So if I select all of this and do a export selection, save over my hydrant low, and head back to Substance Painter and do a quick re-import mesh. I can go up to Edit, Re-import Mesh, or I can do Control-Shift-R. So Control-Shift-R. That's going to reload. Now, before I go ahead and hit the bake mesh uh, map again, let's see what this is actually doing to our curvature map. So if I come up here, this little drop down, hit curvature, you'll notice this is in fact giving us a hard edge. So the curvature thinks that this is a hard edge. So if I were to put some type of procedural on here, it's gonna really drive uh, that that filter or generator and it's it's not going to look the way that I want. So let's go ahead and I hit M to get back to material mode and let's go and fix that. I can bake, bake my mesh maps to get rid of that hard line on the surface. All right, so if I come back up here and hit curvature, you'll notice that is now gone and that is exactly what I need. So Let's go ahead now and talk about a different way that we can fix the edges up here on the, uh, on the two rings of the top of this fire hydrant. So if I open up my UV editor, and if I go back to painter, you'll notice, all right, it says missing seams on hard edges. Come back to Maya. So all that means is painter is indicating to me that I have a hard edge on my mesh. This is a smoothing split. However, I do not have a corresponding UV split for this hard edge. So the rays are only casted from the top here and from the side. It's not able to capture this edge. What we need to do is cut a seam in the UVs. So if I come to my UV editor and I'm gonna hit Shift X to cut, and uh, let me give a little bit of padding to this. I'm gonna bring this up, bring this down a little, bring this up a little bit. And so now I've got an, a seam on my hard edge, right? Which is what it says in Painter, missing seam on hard edge. Come back to Maya. Now, if I bring this in to Painter, let me make sure I don't have any overlap to these with any of the other pieces. Okay, great. And I do File, Export Selection, and again, I'm gonna save over my Hydrant Low. Save, yes, Export, Control-Shift-R, and no more lines, no more errors. So this is great, this is what we want, we don't want any errors, but I go ahead and I hit that Fake Select again. Give it just a second to finish here. If I zoom in, we are still seeing that 90 degree angle, and I want to smooth that out. There are no 90 degree angles in the real world, so let's go back into Maya and save out a high resolution mesh to bake from. And what I'm going to do is select everything here. Underneath the outliner, I'm going to hit Control D and I'm going to hit Control G to group it. This is going to be my high and I am middle mouse clicking. I just want this to sit outside of that 
that group. I'm going to hide my original group. And let's give the hard edges here a little bit of a bevel. So cool, Maya remembered my selection from before. Come up to mesh, uh, edit mesh and bevel. Cool. And let's, let's make it a little bit smaller. Now I can only do this on one piece at a time. So let me, let me do this one first. Let's see, where are you bevel? There we go in my uh, attribute editor. And maybe I'll give us another segment. That's good. And again, we'll do this one. All right, that's looking good enough. I think those are matching. So now grab this and export selection. I'm gonna now save this one as my high resolution mesh. Save. Yes, I wanna replace. That was my test one. Don't tell anybody. Come back to painter. Now underneath high poly parameters, I'm gonna click this little paper icon here. Navigate to my hydrant high. And yes, I do have an OBJ in here. I was doing a little bit of testing before. OBJs are fine, you can use them, but do know they don't carry scale information like whether the source file was in centimeters or meters. And I've run into issues in the past between multiple apps where maybe my bake mesh ends up not matching the scale of my original mesh. So I tend to use something like an FBX or a USD. All right, so you'll see now a couple of other options have opened up here. We've got my high and super neat. Uh, we have added this new cage uh, option. So automatic experiment. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to throw that on. Make sure my cage surface is turned on there for you. Turn my mesh on so that you can see what's happening. And this is such a neat feature. I really haven't had any issues with it yet. You know, I'm not, I'm not going back and really messing with any of this like max or uh, rear distance for the cage. So just going to leave it on experimental. And let's go ahead and yeah, 4096 has ah, probably too much, but that's fine for now. All right, big selected. It's going to go through pretty fast. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at that curvature map. And this, this is what I want. There's a little bit of a fall off there. It is looking at this edge as if it is a rounded edge. Zoom back out, hit M, go back to my material mode. It's rounded. And let's go ahead and now turn on, uh, turn on my all my fillers and all my generators and show you what this show you what this looks like. Now it's gonna take a little bit of time to cache. You'll notice down here at the bottom there's that teal line. All of those mesh maps that we just rebaked are driving all of the generators that I have here in my layer stack. So it's got to recache all of that information. Should just take another, another second or so here before we see. All right, great. There it is. I'm working on this uh, comic book style for my latest couple of pieces. And everything now is looking much better and it's fixed. So I hope that this helped. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below and happy painting.